Kristen McWhorter. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I grew up in Colorado um, before moving to Baltimore, Maryland, where I lived and worked for many years. Um, and in 2016, I moved to Los Angeles. And my practice is largely rooted in performance and participation. Um, I'm often creating objects that act like props uh, that pose different participants against one another to produce behaviors and body languages that I then document for um, what ends up being an artifact of that performance. And these artifacts end up being the final work. So I think in my practice, I'm often looking at how competition and intimacy interact with one another. And for me, I view intimacy and competition as deeply entangled with one another. As much as competition is about winning and losing, it's also about coming in proximity with your competitor and having face-to-face, body-to-body contact with something or someone who you're trying to understand better. I think that also we use technology to solve problems um, of where we see vacancies in our life. And so technology happens to be a place that we're often trying to solve whatever tensions we feel about our own intimate lives or our own competitive lives. Um, so bringing technology into my work with performance became sort of a natural evolution as I'm looking at these two forces. Right now, the strength right there. Yeah. So at the Culture Hub Residency, I've been working on a project called um, Party Rituals. And I've been focusing on these objects um, that incorporate virtual reality headsets into these sculptural forms. And I'm interested in how the combination of the virtual reality headset and the form can manipulate people's behavior or how they interact with one another, um, much like something like a party blower or a noise maker or birthday candles at a party um, induce behaviors that we don't normally do. <laughs> this is too much for me. <laughs> and kind of trying to push, push that idea of the house party to an extreme where what you identify with and what you don't identify with feels absurd. And, um, and what does it mean to identify with absurdity or what does it mean to reject absurdity, particularly when it's something like a festivity or a celebration where so much of it is already absurd. Each object combines two virtual reality headsets that compel behaviors between two people. So I had couples come in, I had strangers come in, I had acquaintances come in, and all of them have a different way of interacting with each other, but especially through the expression of their bodies as they're working with these forms. The diversity to me is really interesting and really inspiring. Watching different groups of people interact with the forms that I've made um, produces uh, a really wide variety of behaviors that I would never be able to anticipate when I'm creating the form. For me this is interesting because it says that um, our behavior is shifting not because of technology but because of the like physical way in which we're existing in the world. <laughs> My experience as a female artist plays a role in that there are times when I don't understand why the way that I experience the world um, isn't always reflected in the world that I live in. As a question of, of this sort of patriarchal system that we live in, what are its strengths and what are its weaknesses? I don't want to give an alternative necessarily to patriarchy, but I just want to um, identify the fact that patriarchy isn't a given. And so what does it mean to step outside what that culture might be? I want my audience to be curious with me about why we behave the way we behave or why we interact with each other the way that we interact and to also kind of weaken this trust we have in the structural systems that we live in to sort of 
create a speculative space where not only are we imagining alternative cultures, but we're also identifying weak points in the systems that we live by. I don't think that I'm answering any questions, but I kind of want to crack things open and turn them into a question mark and that nothing is as stable as we assume. I think anybody who is interested in making things, um, my advice to them is that the process of making requires a certain amount of, of bravery and trust in yourself and in the institutions that support you. Um, and so I think it's really important that we as a culture um, don't need things to make sense all the time, that, um, that we can be producing um, objects and events and technologies and media that don't make sense to us in the moment that we're making them, that in their final form that meaning can come through and that it can exist. And you have to have a lot of trust in yourself and you have to have a lot of bravery in order to follow that process for that project to manifest. Um, and so, be brave.